impact of a face-to-face -face interaction is invaluable. Meeting with your elected official in person and sharing your personal story can help inspire them to act on issues you are passionate about. Kids can't vote, so they need you to be their voice. If you're going to the meeting solo, you're basically telling a short story, so make sure you're telling a good one. Do research on your elected official. Better yet, find a common interest. Maybe you grew up in the same town. Maybe you enjoy the same sports. Maybe you're both passionate about advocating for children. You need to tell a complete story that has a setting, characters, a problem, and a solution. The setting is the place you live or the community in need. The characters are the people in your community or people around the world who need your help. Try to highlight just one person or family who is particularly impacted by the problem. As for the solution, well, that's why you're here. You need to tell your elected official that they can be a champion for children if they take an action you suggest. So make sure you have a clear ask. If you're bringing a group to the meeting, prepare by dividing up the roles for each person attending. Each of you has a unique story to tell, and preparation can make your meeting more impactful. Be respectful in your tone and of the elected official's time. Even if you passionately disagree with your elected official on an issue, being disrespectful won't help your cause. And don't forget to allow your elected official to participate in the conversation without letting them take over. Be polite and firm to maximize your impact. Oh, and one more idea. Take a picture with your elected official or their staff so you can share it on social media. This way, more people know about your meeting and are encouraged to act. And finally, send a thank you to your elected official and their staff to thank them for their time and to reiterate your ask. Every meeting counts, and the more elected officials that hear our message on behalf of kids, the bigger the difference we can make. Now, let's practice the tips we just discussed. Hi, Congresswoman Smith. Thank you for meeting with me today. Uh, my name is Eric, and I live in your district in Illinois. Hi, Eric, welcome. Now, how can I help you today? I'm here today as an advocate with Save the Children Action Network to talk to you about the preventable deaths of moms and kids around the world. Did you know each day 16,000 children under the age of five die from preventable causes like diarrhea and pneumonia. The majority of these deaths occur in the developing world where moms and kids don't have access to simple solutions like immunizations. Wow. I became an advocate with Save the Children Action Network because I have two young nieces who thankfully have access to these types of interventions that keep them healthy. I know you have been supportive of efforts to end preventable deaths in the past, such as when you co-sponsored the Reach Every Mother and Child Act in the last Congress. Would you consider co-sponsoring the REACH Act again this year? I'm not sure. Can you tell me a bit more about what the new bill does? Sure. The REACH Act will accelerate U.S. progress towards ending preventable child deaths within a generation by setting ambitious targets and improving coordination between multiple government agencies. By co-sponsoring this legislation, mm -hmm. you will help save millions of children's lives. Well, thank you for sharing your story. I do want to help you, and I'll have my staff look into it for you. Thank you. Your support will be influential in getting the bill passed through the House. Would you mind taking a photo with me before I leave? Well, of course. Thank you. <laughs> By following these steps, you are sure to have a successful meeting.